It's a fun twist on a classic recipe and the perfect treat for this spooky season. Here to share how to whip up delicious miso and black sesame rice crispy treats, we welcome back plant-based chef and cooking instructor, Hana Lee. It's so great to see you. Hi, Hannah. It's nice to see you too. How's this it going? This is a genius idea. It smells so good. We all know and love a rice crispy treat. And somehow you're yes. making it even better, I think. I like to call this an adult Rice Krispie treat there you because go. we're elevating, we're putting a twist on it. And do you watch Great British Bake Off? Oh, I love that show. Okay, this is gonna make you feel like Star Baker oh, once you finish yes. whipping it up. <laughs> oh my gosh. So these are two of my favorite flavors miso yes. and black sesame paste. Why not? Miso is this awesome umami salty balm that mm -hmm. we're gonna add to this delicate balance of sweet. And we've got some homemade black sesame paste here. Wow. And you can make this with coconut oil, some powdered sugar, and black sesame seeds and just put it in the food processor. That's it. And you can add it to so many different things. What a great idea. And that color is so great for mm -hmm. any kind of spooky recipe this exactly. time of year. Exactly. Okay. It makes it feel Halloween-y. The other thing that you'll need here is vegan marshmallows. Yeah. And you can get these at any grocery store and if you put one in the pot then you can also have one as you're mixing it That's up. That's the rule. So. It's your reward <laughs> for your hard work. Exactly. It's so nice we can find so many vegan options in just about every store mm -hmm. now. Portland okay. Portland is a great place for it. So to get started we are mixing together our red miso paste, and Ooh. you can get this at most Asian grocery stores. Okay. We've got some vegan butter in here, and we're going to mix three tablespoons of our miso with a quarter cup of our butter and a quarter cup of our black sesame paste, and we're okay. gonna throw that in our pot here. Beautiful. And the other thing that we're gonna add in, of course, is our bag of vegan marshmallows. Yes. And this is a hot tip that I learned from experience. Okay. If you get the minis, they melt a lot faster than the jumbo oh, size. Oh, definitely. So you're gonna save yourself a few minutes if you okay. throw in the minis. And we're just gonna melt these down together. And then once we've got a nice paste going here, it's not gonna look cute yet, but <laughs> trust the process because <laughs> it's just about but having the some smell patience. smell is so the good. Smell, right? Mm -hmm. You really can get a sense of the salty, sweet, the umami that's gonna come into play. And then my favorite part, this is four cups of crispy rice. Okay. My favorite part next is the sound. Oh, once okay. Once you add in. I'm very excited. So we're gonna add this in. We're gonna throw a little bit of vanilla on top. Oh, and sure. It's a half, a half a teaspoon, but okay. I like to add a little extra because yeah. I'm a vanilla fiend. And then we're gonna Mix it all together in this here. This is the satisfying part. And it's that little snap crackle pop yes. that we're all so familiar with. It does look kind of like a cool, I, I can imagine my kids just getting so into this. It's kind of a spooky color combination. Right? That's it is so spooky. fun. And uh, you're going to want to make sure that all of your Rice Krispies are evenly coated here. Right. And uh, this is the part where you can taste test if you need mm -hmm. to know how things are going. But my favorite part about this recipe is that it's no bake. You're just gonna mix. This was so easy. And you're gonna let it sit on the counter or you could put it in the refrigerator for right. 30 minutes. And you basically just wanna let the marshmallows uh, come together. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. the great thing about this recipe is that the longer you let it sit, maybe an extra hour or two, the miso has a chance to develop the flavor a little bit sure. more. So it becomes slightly more umami as yeah. you let it sit. And seeping into all those crispies. Every little bite will be so yummy. Every little bite. Okay. And then we've got a lined loaf pan here, but you can really do this in any size pan that you have, sure. on home, have at home. And we're gonna dump it in. That's a good trick with the parchment paper. I feel like I've tried to extract sticky things from <laughs> Many an unlined pan, because uh, you don't you don't realize until it's too late. And easy. Here, oh, here's the hard part. Okay. Just making sure it all gets in there. Yep. But anything that's that the falls, hardest work of the whole thing. <laughs> anything that falls out of the pan is there just you go. yours to snack on. Exactly. And then the fun part, you just get to mash it down with your spatula, a back of a spoon or a fork, and you smooth it out in your pan here. Amazing. Look and at this. I like to top mine with extra black sesame seeds. Totally. Or we're just gonna stick this little yep. corner in here and nobody's gonna know. No one saw that. <laughs> 
And once it's pretty flat, this would be a great recipe to bring to a gathering too, because I mean, who doesn't love Rice Krispie? But the sight of it, the you will totally impress everybody. Right, they look really fancy. They do. But that just took us five minutes. And like not even extra steps, just a couple extra ingredients added mm -hmm. really. You're kind of doing the same process. And look a little garnish makes them look even more elevated. There you go. And okay. here we have it. So we're gonna let these sit for a minute and we're gonna taste test these ones that have already been Let's do it. Look here. at these. You can cut them into any shape you like, squares. That's true. Bats if you wanna get really festive. But yeah. I'm gonna let Hannah okay. taste these because I've had about six of these <laughs> this morning, so. You've had your payment already? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh, they just smell so good, okay. The smell is really good. Mmm. Mmm. That's so fun. They're mm. so fun, they're so this easy. Is this is an adult level <laughs> treat. Because mm -hmm. you still get the yummy sweet marshmallow. It's not lost. There's just more goodness in there. So while your kids are out mm -hmm. having Halloween candy, yes. you can be at home eating your adult rice crispy This is treats. the good stuff. Yes. Thank you so much. It Thank was great so much to see you. Me. We'll have this recipe and more about Hana on our website at katu.com. We'll be right back with more Afternoon Live right after this.